Hey, it's Janice with Paul's Dream and Joy .com. and I have gotten some requests to do some more projects with Create a Critter. So let me tell you the story of how this project happened. Yesterday I got a call from my husband and he said, remind me Saturday night that we need to be up early Sunday to go somewhere and you need to take the camera. Now if you know me, you know that I love surprises. So this kind of phone call does does everything for me. I love looking forward to something and I thought, okay, I need to remind him. So I need to make something. I'll make something with Create Critter and I'll just use it as my reminder sheet. So I pulled out Create Critter and I thought, okay, camera. They have a camera on here and a little mouse and um, a little saying that says say cheese. And I thought, okay, I'm going to use that. And I pulled out this pack from Joann's. I got it when it was 70% off. I don't know how much it was originally. Look how much paper's in here. I don't know how much it was originally, but I got it for like a couple of dollars. I just couldn't believe it. In fact, I bought two of them, and I think I spent five or six dollars total. And it's got gorgeous um, paper in here. Let me just flip through it real quick. And it goes from darker shades and um, more antique shades to more baby colors. Let me show you. Isn't this pretty? You guys have probably already seen this. So I'll go. I'll try to go pretty fast here. It's. I just love. I love this paper, and it's a nice thick paper. So when you put it in your Cricut, it doesn't fray or shred like toilet paper or paper towels. It it cuts really well. Okay, so that's just a glimpse. Some of the patterns I've used all the sheets of that particular pattern, so you didn't get to see those, but that's okay. So I got a um, a backing off of one of these, which is pretty heavy cardstock. I just took the cardboard off of one of them, and I used that as my base, and I made a 12 by 12 layout. So here's my layout. So I have the say cheese, and it's it's pop dotted up. And the little mouse has popped up, and he's sitting on a piece of cheese, and here's my camera. And then I left this down here because I thought I'll get a post-it note and, you know, slide it behind here, and I can hang this on my fridge, and we can write ourselves notes and then pull that one off when it's gone, and it can be our little reminder sheet. So here is my project I've made with Creative Critter. The background paper is the full sheet, 12 by 12. This orange paper was cut at 10 and a half by 10 and a half. I didn't have any black paper that was bigger than 8 and a half by 11, so I just cut strips and I just put it um, around the, the strips around the edges, so it's really not a full sheet of black under there, but it works just like I wanted it to, so that's fine. The cheese is cut at 3 and a half inches. The mouse is cut at four and a half inches, and then I use the shadow on him. The camera is cut at three and a half inches, and then I used the um, shadow on that. And then the phrase was cut at three inches. So there is my reminder sheet with our little post-it notes, and I thought maybe I could um, punch some holes up here with my crocodile and, and put those suction hooks on the fridge and hang it up, and we could use this as a reminder. So I hope you guys like it. Let me know what you think, and have a great day. Bye.